I'm going to show you guys how to fill your balloon with helium gas. So in my hand here is the balloon I'm going to use. This is the ribbon and this is the scissors. And this is our disposable helium gas. There are other ones, but for this class, this is what I'm going to do. So before you fill your helium gas into your balloon, you have to look through your balloons because sometimes they have factory defects and there could be a hole or something. So you need to make sure that um, your balloon has no hole so you avoid leakage of the gas. So what you do at first is to make sure that your ribbon has been cut because once you fill the gas, it's going to want to fly off. So you need to tie it, make sure that you open the valve of your helium gas to the very end. You put in your balloon into the mouth of the valve and then you blow. You, you raise it up for the gas to come out. Can you see? So our gas is in the balloon already. So what you need to do is to make sure that you lock the knob to, to avoid um, the gas from leaking out. Then the next thing you need to do is to make sure that you tie your balloon. After tying it, you remember I told you that we need our ribbon handy. Then you attach your ribbon to the balloon. And you tie it. Voila! And that's it. So this is how you use your helium gas to blow balloon so it's gas that actually makes the balloon float if you don't use the other method I'm going to talk about so when you want to do your wedding photo shoot your birthday photo shoot anniversary baby christening bridal shower baby shower this is the method this is what they use to make the balloon float so if you just buy helium balloon and think that once you feel it will air you float that's not true it's gas that actually makes the balloon float Thank you.